friends so welcome back to a quick vlog many of you asked me uh, for a video on uh, the fuses what we have on the bike so uh, without uh, wasting any time let's dive straight into it <coughs> so here we go so in order to uh, gain access to the fuse uh, system of the bike you will need to take off the left side cover and the seat so yes uh, to take the seat off of course you will need this type of allen key which is also provided in the bike right here right it's a 5 mm allen key so you will need this to take the screw off and uh, take the seat out so once the seat is out so all right so the first fuse we are going to talk about is the main fuse on the bike that is this 30 amps fuse what you see right here tucked in so this is the main fuse of the bike right so if at all you are not seeing your lights coming on on your dashboard when you turn on the ignition you would be sure that the, there's no power from the battery to the electrical system right that's, so that's when you need to take a look at this fuse so if at all the fuse is blown you'll be able to uh, see this here uh, so this is a new fuse so you see the continuity of the wire inside the fuse so if that particular wire is not having a continuity that means that the fuse is blown or fuse needs replacement okay so this is a box what i keep as a you know all different uh, fuses as a spare which i use for my bike car or whatever so yes we're done with the main fuse so now uh, there are other components here uh, this is your main uh, ecu ecm which actually you know controls the entire fueling electrical system ignition system everything sort of it's a brain of uh, uh, the electrical system here right it's a electronic control unit or electronic control module whatever you may call it all right so this is our battery and 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 yeah so let's get to the rest of the fuses on the bike so you have these two boxes here so yeah this uh, the fuses what i hear on the side are spare fuses 20 amp spare 7.5 amp spare fuse so the first one is 7.5 and it's for the clock 20 amps is for your abs um and there are two fuses for uh, 20 amps abs 20 amps and 20 amps so if at all uh, if any abs issue you have or the light coming on on the dashboard continuously or abs not working as expected so these two are the fuses what you will need to check the 20 amp ones so since the spare is provided here so you will be able to swap it out and uh, fix the issue and the next one is uh, 7.5 and 10 amps fuse 10 amps says uh, signal and other and 7.5 says uh, op not quite sure what it is but uh, 7.5 is again your headlight right so let's open this box so you just all you need to do is just lightly press the top part and this will come off just like a school tiffin box right just like that so now you may say that how do i take out this fuse you can just pull it out with the hand or if you have a plier or something of that sort i you i'll use this tool since it's handy so just hold this and uh, lift it up so here's the fuse right so yeah so this is our headlamp uh, fuse probably 7.5 right so yeah make sure when you're putting in the fuse they're seated properly and uh, the cap is closed securely so that no water enters okay all right so next let's move to the next box which is a thin one here which has got three fuses there 
10 amp 7.5 and 10 amp spare so there is a spare of 7.5 and 20 amps provided here and 10 amps also is provided so you have every type of uh, fuse available as a spare in case of emergency right so if at all uh, you don't hear when you turn on the ignition you hear the fuel injection priming sound like uh, something uh, boom kind of sound in the tank so that's the fuel injection system or the fuel pump which is in the tank getting activated right if that is not happening right so uh, there's no power going into your ecu this is the ecu so if that is the issue you'll have to again you know lift this thing up this way and inspect this 10 amp fuse the first one right and you have a spare here in case anything wrong with this you can swap it out right and uh, this is again the abs ecu uh, fuse right so so yeah so these are the fuses which come on the bike but uh, my bike has a few other fuses here because uh, i had installed uh, the wiring harness so this is my wiring harness if you see right so i have uh, let me show this to you guys so that you understand uh, installing the aux lights i had installed uh, the entire uh, fuse here this is the fuse which came with this particular wiring harness right this is the wiring harness which came from mad dog this has got a fuse inside so this has got a 10 amp uh, fuse so let me show it to you guys all right so here you see this is a 10 amp fuse so uh, so you might ask me what's the role of fuse fuses in the bike right so fuses are very important uh, from the point that uh, they help protect your electrical system in case of any short circuit uh, which can happen due to various reasons right could be water could be fire could be any other reason so uh, you always need to make sure that you have the right specification fuse installed it should if it's 10 amps here it has to be 10 amps right it should not be 20 30 40 whatever and uh, some mechanics just to uh, get the continuity in the line they might just short the fuse and just uh, put a wire and all that so it's better to avoid all those uh, jugards uh, in the bike for the safety so you see this part here this is the relay this is the relay which came with the mad dog wiring harness right it's all part of that so all this helps uh, protect the electrical system of the bike so that's the reason i went in for a proper wiring harness and then got my aux lights installed all right so guys yeah this is uh, a little bit about the uh, fuses on the bike uh, do let me know in case uh, you have any queries uh, happy to answer your questions and uh, yeah do let me know if you like to see any other content uh, about the bike happy to uh, make that up thank you guys and have a wonderful rest of the day and um, see you all until next time thank you